Yeah, feels much more comfortable out there today, Jody. Lower humidity thanks to the cold front uh, that came through yesterday brought us uh, severe weather, funnel clouds across pretty much all of the state yesterday. Pretty incredible. And then uh, repeated uh, spots of uh, heavy rainfall, downpours, lightning, thunder, of course, all with us yesterday, late afternoon into the evening hours. But today, a completely different story. We've got sunshine back, rainfall that we picked up yesterday. This is for Tuesday. Uh, really culminating in over an inch in a lot of spots here, especially across the metro area, places like Madison County, Warren County, also Lucas County down towards Creston, picking up uh, quite a bit of rainfall there from those storms. Again, northern Iowa missed out, which is good news there because we've already got the swollen rivers and creeks and floodways and riverways up there. So they get a little bit of a break, but we've got more rain on the way the rest of this week. That could create some issues for us across the state. Rainfall uh, just since midnight all the way up until lunchtime here today. We picked up maybe another quarter of an inch or so here across portions of southern Iowa with those overnight showers and thunderstorms. We've cleared things out as I mentioned, so we've got clear skies. All blue sky, hardly any cloud cover out there this afternoon. Temperatures are at a comfortable level, as is the humidity. Low 80s right now, dew points in the 50s for pretty much everyone, especially if you're north of I-80. We've got very comfortable uh, dew points up there. Mid 50s in Fort Dodge and Algona. Dew points close to 60 degrees in Ames and Des Moines. So it makes it feel a lot better to be outside. Temperatures running cooler as well by about 5 degrees or so compared to this same time yesterday. Over the next 12 hours, I think we top out mid 80s, maybe close to 90, depending already sitting in the mid 80s right now. We'll see how warm we get with the lower humidity later on this afternoon, but we're talking all sunshine. Winds will be out of the north, a little bit of a breeze today, and then good news is temperatures really cool off later on tonight. We drop below 70 degrees with a mostly clear sky. So I think we've got one more day of um, the comfy humidity levels out there tomorrow. Shouldn't be that bad, but it does uptick just a little bit Friday and Saturday. Nothing like we saw yesterday and the day before, but I think it does get a touch stickier by the end of the work week and into the upcoming weekend. Sunday also looking great as far as temperatures go and humidity. We'll take you into Thursday. We head into tomorrow. We begin with some clouds, but we're dry. Clouds will be on the increase through Thursday afternoon and evening. And then I think we'll see the chance for some showers and thunderstorms overnight Thursday into early Friday morning. And then another chance for more scattered showers and storms through Friday afternoon and evening. There is the potential for more excessive rainfall here across the state, especially west Western Iowa. This is Thursday into Thursday night, and then I think we'll see more concern with some heavy rain as we get into the day on Friday as well. So we'll be closely monitoring that rainfall tracker. Again, this is just one model giving its input here, but this paints the picture for us. This goes all the way through Friday night where we could see maybe upwards of an inch or so of rainfall in addition to what we got the last couple of days here. So something to keep our eye on temperatures today back to the mid 80s tonight. We're into the low 60s, upper 50s across northern Iowa. Tomorrow even cooler. We'll keep the clouds around as well. Eight day forecast has us in the low 80s Thursday, mid 80s Friday and a comfortable weekend ahead.